Hi everybody, if you've clicked on this video that means you're wanting to do some yoga or as I like to call it, moving meditation. Um, I'm going to teach you some very basic moves that you can do from the comfort of your own home. As you can see, I'm in my student room, it's very comfortable and there's just about enough space for a yoga mat. You don't need a yoga mat, you can also use a towel or something soft to cover a hard floor or you can even do it on carpet if you want, but the point is you don't want to hurt your knees or any other part of your body. So try and do it on something soft if you can. Um, and yeah, let's get started. So the first pose I want to show you is called Mountain Pose and it's very, very simple. You just put your feet together and reach towards the sky. Make sure to have your hands um, far apart, almost as if you have a beach ball in between. Roll your shoulders back and down and stretch up. And at the same time, you're trying to bring the tailbone down. So there's more going on than you think. And you need to breathe in and then out. The breath is very important. So then you take your arms down and we do it one more time. take our right hand and grab our left hand, left wrist, and move our body towards the right. Then you bring your body back to centre and switch arms. Now we point towards the left. And then we roll back down. Then halfway and we bring our arms pointing backwards make sure to engage your core and to look forward making sure that your shoulders are not near your ears then roll back down and slowly bring your body back up to standing okay so that was very simple now we're going to try something called warrior two so what you want to do, we're going to start with putting our left foot forward and then have your right foot pivoted with your toes pointing diagonally to the top right of your mat or wherever you're standing. Bend your front leg, making sure that your knee is above your ankle. And then what you want to do is keep your body as straight as possible. Make sure you're not leaning too forward or too far back. You can widen your stance um, because it's better to have like two parallel lines rather than a closed stance. Engage your core and roll your shoulders back. And now we can add the breath. So breathe in and out. And as you breathe out, you can sink a little deeper. Breathe in and out. Make sure that your back arm is stretching backwards so you're not doing this or this. Okay, and then we're gonna move transition to peaceful warrior. Keep your knee, your front knee bent. forward and then back. You want to point your left arm to the back right edge of your mat. Look up and you can put your right hand on your back if you like. Remember to breathe and then you can roll it all the way down to triangle pose. You can keep your leg bent or, if you like, straighten it for a deeper stretch. 
and you want to point your right arm to the sky with your left arm by your left ankle and roll up. That's that. So then we can put our feet back together. Try and touch the floor and slowly roll back up. Take a moment to sink back into the floor and close your eyes and breathe. Now we can try with the other leg. So again, you put your right leg forward, left leg back, you bend your right leg, which is your front leg, over your ankle, and your back leg, which is your left leg, is straight. Your toes are pivoted to the front of the mat. Sink deep into your bend, and engage your core. Lift your arms up and make sure that you're not too forward or too far back, but you're trying to remain in a centered position. As you breathe out, you can sink deeper. And then to transition, we bring our front arm forward, up and back. And your left arm can touch your back. Reach, reach, reach towards the back, looking at your arm. Remember to breathe. And then you can roll it up, straighten your front leg, and come to triangle. So you want to put your right arm next to your right ankle, lift your left arm to the sky and look towards your left arm without hunching your shoulder to the floor. Try and lift your hip creases back, your left hip crease pulling back. Then bend your front leg and come back up. That's a mini sequence done. Again, we can bend forward, come halfway, roll back down, and slowly roll up with the breath. your eyes closed, ground down to your feet, and embrace the stillness. Remember to breathe in and out. Now we're going to come to all fours. In plank, you want to make sure that your palms are spread nice and wide and that you're engaging your core so you're not collapsing and your bum's not in the air. You want a flat back. Stay here for five, four, three, two, one. And then we roll into downward facing dog. In downward facing dog, you want to aim to have your heels on the ground, but they don't have to be on the ground. Lift your hip creases up and press your heart down. If you like, you can pedal. Or you can remain still. Make sure to keep breathing in. And out. Then what you're going to do is you can either hop or 
walk to the front of the mat. Slowly roll up. Try and feel every muscle and bone in your body. Right. Now we're going to try a balancing pose. So it's called tree pose and it looks very impressive if you manage to do it well. But the point is um, the intention, not the actual pose that you end up doing. So what you want to do is have your feet close together and shift your weight onto one foot. I'm going to start with my right. So I can feel all of my weight going onto my right. Then you're going to slowly lift your left leg and try and hold it there and see how that feels. Make sure that all of your weight is on your right, but you're not collapsing your hips, you're not doing this, you need to keep straight. If you feel that's working for you, you can try and put your leg anywhere on your right leg. So it could be down here, or it could be all the way up here. This is the part where I also fall over. Concentrate. Find a place to look at in the room. And bring your arms, or your hands, to your chest. Remember to breathe in and out. If you like, you can extend your arms into the air and look up. Don't worry if you fall, because you can always try again. When you're done with this position, you should slowly release. Shake your feet because they can get easily tired. And bring them back together. Now we can try with the other leg. It's always different on the other side. So put your weight into your left leg and bring your right leg up. Try not to collapse into your hip, but keep a strong core. If you feel like you've got that, you can put your leg, your right leg, onto any part of your left leg. Make sure to avoid the knee area. Put your hands together by your chest and breathe. If you want an extra challenge, bring your arms to the sky and look up, breathe in and out. When you want to release, come down slowly. Okay, hopefully that was good. going to bend forward again and this time bend your knees a little bit and rock side to side. This is really good for the back of your, for the lower back. slowly roll back up. So the next pose we're going to try is called chair pose. You're going to have your feet slightly apart in this pit, just below your hips. Then you're going to bend forward, making sure that you bring your hips and reach your arms to the sky. Keep your back straight 
And as you try and lower your hips to the ground, you also want to bring your arms to the sky. So you've got two opposing forces. Look up and remember to breathe. Make sure to engage your core. So you're not pushing your hips or your bum out, even though you're trying to pull that weight back, you're still engaging your core. We'll stay here for five, four, three, two, and one. Release. Bring your arms to the sky and roll back down. Come to a half moon point and roll back down again. Bend your knees and shake side to side. So now what you can do is sit down on your mat and we're going to do a little bit of core work. So this is called boat position. So what you want to do is lean your body back slightly and have your legs up in the air like this. If you like, you can reach your arms forward. What we're going to do is, one after the other, straighten one leg like that. At the same time, we're going to have our arms to our chest. And when we extend the right leg, we're going to twist to the left. That's when you breathe in and you breathe out to come back to centre. Let's try that on the other side. Breathe in, twist to your left. Breathe out. Breathe in, twist to the right. Breathe out. Breathe in, and out. And one more time. In, and out. Release. And we can try again, but this time in your own time. So you can follow my pace or do it quicker or faster, as you like. And one more on each side. And relax. Hopefully that was a good core workout. So we've done we're done with the movement today. We now need to sit cross-legged and do a little bit of meditation to end. So have your back nice and straight. Concentrate on your breath. You can have your palms on your knees or turned upwards or close your chest like this. The important thing is to close your eyes and continue breathing in and out. Be aware of your surroundings, whatever they may be like. 
and just think about the days that you've already had or the days that you're going to have. Think about what you want to do for the rest of the day. Is there something that you've done today that you're proud of? Is there something that you want to do that you think will make your day successful? It could be anything like going for a walk, go tidy my room, something simple. Take this opportunity to clear your mind. Focus on the rhythm of your breath. The last pose I want to show you today is my favourite pose, corpse pose. It's all about lying on the floor. So make sure that your back is one with the floor and your arms are out wide. Roll your shoulder, your shoulder back and have your shoulder blades touch the floor. You can stay here as long as you like. Carry on with your meditation and your thinking and try and set an intention for the rest of the day. Like I said, it could be absolutely anything at all. Maybe you want to do one of the activities from the pack. There's plenty of choice, but for now, just have a think. and roll back to seated. So I hope you enjoyed that and you can repeat that video as many times as you like um, or use those poses in your own routines that you can make up um, but there's plenty to do there and I hope you enjoyed it.